A personal flotation device or life jacket is an important part of being safe on the water, and we require all of our guests to wear a properly fitted PFD when they go out on one of our trips. To put on a PFD, you put it on just like any other vest or jacket, and then you want to seal up any buckles or zippers that are on it. To make sure that the PFD is fitted properly to your body, you want to use straps or on the side. I like to work from the bottom up, tugging on each one. Until it feels nice and snug or loosening if you need it to. Once the PFD is snug around your body, you can adjust the shoulder straps as well by tugging on them like so. A properly fitted PFD will meet, allow you to put your thumbs underneath the shoulder straps and lift, and it won't come up above your ears, and ideally not above your chin. When you're holding the paddle, you want to find the middle of the paddle and put it in front of you and then extend your arms so that they're nice and straightish. You don't want your arms to be rigid. They need to be like springs or shock absorbers. A good way to make sure that your hands are in the right position is that if you lift the paddle up to your head, that your arms will form approximately right angles. And then when you bring it down in front, they should be extending out a bit, not straight, but a little bit out to each side. Paddles are like spoons. The blade actually has a curved face to it. The part that's curving should be curving towards you, and we call that the power face. That always needs to be facing you. There's no need to ever flip it in the other direction to move around. In our open house program, we put guests in two different kinds of boats, sit-on-tops and deck boats. Sit-on-tops are molded pieces of plastic that you simply sit on top of, and deck boats are boats that you sit inside and the deck covers up your legs. To get into either kind of boat, you want to sit with your bum on the deck and dangle your legs over the boat. You'll find little notches for your feet to be in, and you want to try and get them in ahead of time so that you're sitting lined up with the boat as much as you can. Put the far hand on the back of right behind where you're going to sit, your near hand on the dock, and as much as you can, as quickly as you can, push up and over and drop your bum in the seat. Once you're in the boat, Grab your paddle, give yourself a little push from the dock, and start paddling. The key to good paddling is to use torso rotation. Instead of using your arms to paddle, you're going to use your body with its big muscles to power the blade through the water. You're going to rotate to wind up on one side, put the blade in the water, and keep your arms straight. and drive with that high hand, rotating your body the entire time. You can control the boat by controlling where you place the blade. For example, when you want to go straight, you want to put the blade near the boat and rotate as you paddle forward. Keeping the blade near the boat helps you go straight. When you want to turn the boat, you want to put the blade as far from the boat as you can on the side you want to turn away from. To go backwards is very similar to going forwards, but in the opposite order. You're going to rotate your body and plant the blade back by your hips and push forward and do that on each side. Make sure to look behind you every couple of strokes. If you ever need to turn in place, in, like a lazy Susan, you're going to do the same thing on both sides, but in opposite directions. You're going to keep your arms nice and low, and you're going to rotate and get the paddle up past your feet. And you're going to sweep from your foot to your hips on one side, on the other side, from your hips to your feet.
So after you've been out on a nice long open house trip and you come back to the dock, you just want to pull the boat up alongside, throw the paddle up on the dock but within reach, and then it's just the opposite of getting in. You're going to put one hand on the back of the, of the boat, one hand on the dock, and when you're ready, push up and drop your bum on the deck. So getting into a deck boat is very much the same as getting into a sit on top boat, except that you've got to have your feet and legs underneath the deck. You're going to try and line them up as much as you can, put your far hand on the back of the combing in the middle of the boat, and put your near hand on the dock. And then as quickly as you can, push up and slide your bum in the well. And then just drop your legs into the boat. When you're sitting in the deck boat, you want to have your feet firmly planted on the foot pegs and you want to move your thighs or knees underneath these braces. That allows you to drive the boat and have greater control over the boat as you're paddling. So getting out of a deck boat after a nice long open house paddle is also very similar to getting out of a sit on top boat. Once you come up to the dock and you're along the side, you're just going to throw your paddle up and keep it within reach. Put one hand on the dock and the other on the back of the boat, on the combing. Pull your knees out push up, and slide your bum on the deck. The nice thing about deck boats is they do offer more control when you're out paddling, but they do take a little bit more work to get out of in case you capsize. If you do capsize, what you want to do is bring your knees together and then push up and take off the boat like a big pair of pants. That'll help you pop out of the boat and your PFD will keep you floating on the water.